Holly. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm finally making the video to show you guys what I got at my most recent doll club adventure, which was a multi doll club luncheon. And there was some raffle prizes and some uh, vendor booths and of course the luncheon. And anyway, you have to check out my video that shares all about that. I will link it maybe here. Anyway, uh, the first thing you're seeing here is the Holly Hobby Furniture Set that I actually won as one of the helper prizes. And um, these are all metal sets. Uh, you know, I've grown up seeing these kinds of uh, toys before, but never in a package for Holly Hobby. So I was so excited to see these. This is the phone. It's a wall phone. And I'm not sure... There, there is a date, 1976. So we have the wall phone. We have a water pump and bucket. And I think, yeah, the bucket is loose, also 1976. And look, it says sturdy die cast metal with working features. We have a really cute little wash table with a mirror. That is so cute. I wonder if the door's open. And then a really pretty lantern, which is obviously a bigger scale than everything else. So this would actually work really well with several of the dolls I have right now to have this lantern. But uh, I really hesitate. I don't really want to take anything out of the package because <laughs> I love the package uh, of Holly Hobby on there. And of course my channel is Holly's Dolly Hobby. So, um, and I have the IE on Dolly. So Holly's Dolly Hobby. So it is a little different, but you know, I had, I had to play with my name a little bit. Here's an alarm clock. Looks like the arms really work. I wonder if there actually is an alarm sound. I mean, there is a hammer in there. And then we have a little crib, really cute rocking cradle. I actually used something very similar to this for my youngest when she was a baby. I took the cradle part off and set it on my dresser next, right next to me. That's all six of the furniture pieces. And then I also got this really cute little ornament type thing. So that was my first raffle prize. And I was super excited for that. I mean, I saw these and was like, well, yes, I'm putting my tickets in there because it's Holly Hobby. And I've sort of been kind of collecting some Holly Hobby things over the years to decorate my mudroom slash doll room. Next raffle thing that I won, I'm super, I was really, really excited about winning. I got this Madame Alexander Fancy Nancy doll with her dog, Frenchie. And this is Fancy Nancy and Posh Puppy. I don't know if she has a specific name. Cause she has, I've seen several of the Madame Alexander Fancy Nancys and uh, they're different outfits. This one has the poodle skirt with like the cow print. I think it's a cow print, like onesie type outfit. Anyway, I really love her. I have always wanted a fancy Nancy of some kind. I already shared with you in my last video, some of the party favors. Here's one of the favors I'll just show you again. This is a paper doll fan. So you would cut each piece out and then use a brad, a little metal thing, and attach them all together. So the doll would be on the bottom, and then each dress would fold up. So when it folds up, each dress would be, you would cut the face out of each outfit, and then you would see her face. So she would change her outfits as you slowly open the fan. Anyway, her name is Rosella, as you can see, and I think it's just a beautiful thing. I love it. I, I don't know if I'm ever going to cut it out. I mean, I'm tempted because it'd be so pretty, but at the same time, I kind of like it. Um, I like it this way, so we'll have to see. I haven't quite decided. The other favor I got was a cute little apron, and I honestly can't remember where I put the apron. I'm not really sure, so we'll have to see. All right, now I'm going to show you what I purchased um, at the doll show. Well, doll luncheon. 
stay tuned. Okay, so the first purchase I made when I was at the doll luncheon was this Elowin Wild. I had been looking for an Elowin for a while. I also love Prudence and I've been looking over eBay for probably over a year now. And um, when I was at the luncheon before it all started, like the luncheon part, I was walking around the different vendor tables and the lady was still unpacking her stuff. And I saw this Elowin in the box. She still had a hairnet on. Uh, I've added the sweater and purse since uh, I got her because she was one of the basic Elowins. And so she just has kind of an undergarment set underneath. And I just thought she looked really cold because even though it's spring in the Pacific Northwest, it's still raining and dreary outside. We had, we even had snow not too long ago. So it's been fun. It's been a fun spring. Anyway, this Elowin Wild, I got her it's such an amazing deal. I just, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even believe it, especially with her hair being perfect. I mean, I can't even get over her perfect hair. I mean, like I said, it was still in the hairnet. The lady who was selling her said she'd basically been stored in an attic, which I could tell that to be pretty true because her limbs were a bit sticky, but I cleaned her when I got home and um, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And she came in pretty much her entire outfit with the undershirt and the shorts, which I know, I guess, are underwear. I don't know. Underwear, shorts, I'm not sure. She's got these great tights. I like the pattern and then these shoes, which is so interesting because I realized I have these shoes, um, these same exact shoes I bought when I got my Tyler Wentworth doll at a doll show um, a year or so ago. So uh, I guess maybe they're actually Ello and Wild shoes or they're interchangeable. Anyway, I did have, I don't have any Elowin clothes specifically, uh, but I did have some Ta Tyler Wentworth clothes and that's what this sweater and purse are. They're for her and well, for Tyler and they, it just happened to fit Elowin quite well. And she is articulated in the uh, wrists, elbow. I mean, she's not like BJD type articulation, but she, you know, she can move her head reasonably well. She can bend her knees. I don't think she has no ankle rotation, but I'm pretty happy with her. She's definitely bigger. Like she's, she's just never looks this large in, in pictures. But when I got her, she's definitely big <laughs> compared to like a Barbie. And one of the things I love that she came with is, and I don't even know if Elowins come with this anymore, but she came with a book. And I, I really didn't know a lot about Elowin before getting her. Like I looked for the doll, but I've never really read about Elowin Wilde, the character. And so this says, poems for the chronically bored and dissatisfied. And I have to say, I absolutely love that. And all the pictures in here are just fabulous. And they just depict someone who is just generally bored with life. There's always a cat, which of course my oldest loves. And um, now the pictures are all of dolls that various forms of Elowin, because she comes in different appearances. And then each poem says the name. And uh, anyway, I just love this. I think this was a 2008 or 2009 essential Elowin model and uh, but anyway they're just they're so fun because she's just so dreary and life is just so unpleasant and boring and I just love that <laughs> I just think it's great so that is my lovely Elowin now before I move on to the next thing I wanted to touch uh, a little bit on uh, the clothing issue. So I do have some clothes that are Tyler Wentworth, but not specifically Elowin. And the only place you can really get new Elowin clothes is from the Virtual Doll Convention website or Etsy. 
And of course I was looking over Etsy and I really, I just recently placed an order on Etsy for some clothes for her. But I went ahead and I uh, ordered something from the virtual doll convention, which I got and I thought I would unbox it like right now so you guys can see what clothes she gets. All right, so let's see. I wanted to get her a pair of pants because the girl has no pants and a belt. Well, bless Rachel's heart. She not only sent me one belt, but two as a gift. So I'm super excited to have two different belts to play with. And one of the pants I ordered off of Etsy is a pair of blue jeans. So we'll have that nice uh, contrast with the belt. And then the pants I ordered, I wanted something neutral. There weren't a lot of neutral pants left, but I got a cute pair of some white pants. I thought white would work best with the sweater. I also have a red um, Tyler Wentworth sweater and a black one. And I thought of all the colors that Virtual Doll Convention had left in stock, the white would be the best. Now I really wanna get her a pair of brown boots to go with her sweater and her jacket. I mean, uh, her uh, purse, but I haven't been able to really find ones I love. I mean, there's several on Etsy and I almost bought some. Oh no, there's several on eBay as well. Um, eBay is pretty expensive for any Ella Wynn Wild official clothes. So that's a bummer. And then she sent me a ton of other fun stuff. So first one, doll collecting and coffee make me happy. Yes, 100%. Screw this, I'm buying more dolls. Yeah, I've been there. And then got the coffee. And who doesn't want a little bit of fruit candies? In fact, my Aunt Vivian pulled this out of the bag like right away and I was like, wait, I need to put it in my video first. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about all these fun little things. And then when I get the next shipment from my Etsy order, I will show you guys too. I really love the green felt. Maybe I'll try these on her and you guys can see uh, how she looks. Here she is all dressed in the new belt and the pants. I was kind of surprised to discover that her pants were actually way too long. Uh, I tried to keep them like long with the heels thinking maybe, you know, they'd hang down, but they didn't really lay right um, because they just bunched funny. And so I rolled them the best I could. I might have to just cut them. I'm not really sure, but, and they're high-waisted pants. There she is with the lime green belt. I thought that would be a nice contrast. And I figured since I had her out, I would give you a good comparison view of Elowen in relation to Barbie and even uh, Rainbow High. So here's Elowen. And then next to her, I will put a standard Barbie. This is Fashionista, I don't remember her number, but I got her at the bins. I showed you her a while back. So there is, <laughs> A significant difference in height. She is monstrous. And then here's Rainbow High, um, which is also pretty short. I mean, Rainbow High is fairly comparable to uh, Barbie, but yeah, there is a significant height difference. In and like, it's so funny to me. Like, I never really realized it until I actually saw her in person, and she's just. She's a monster in comparison. I'm beautiful, don't get me wrong. Uh, and then a Tyler Wentworth is, I think, similar proportion, but smaller head. All right, so here is my Tyler Wentworth. Um, you can see that she has a much smaller head than my Elowen, but I feel like their shoulders are pretty much the same height. So I think they can potentially wear now their waists. Yeah, I think their bodies are pretty similar. It's just their heads are very, very different. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's your comparison. Okay, and the final thing that I purchased at the doll luncheon was this beautiful custom Blythe. Um, her name, well, I've named her Cassidy, and she is from the artist Nat Cow. If you can see there, Nat Cow. And I actually reached out to this artist, 2018, 
uh, because this, the person I bought her from was not the artist. It was someone else who had purchased her years ago. And anyway, I reached out to the artist and sent pictures to her and she was pretty excited to see her old little friend. Apparently this was one of her first little customs that she made. And yeah, I named her Cassidy and the seller was amazing and gave me so much to go with Cassidy. Um, and then put it all in this little suitcase. So she has been customized. I'm pretty sure she's just a custom um, uh, AliExpress doll. I don't think she is an original life. So she has these beautiful blue green eyes looking straight. I also, I just love her little beauty mark right here. And I really love looking at her lips. Um, I have not done any face carving yet on a Blythe and I want to. So I'm really happy that I have one that I can analyze and try to get an idea. I know there's tons of videos out there and I just need to watch them more and not be intimidated. But all right, so let's look at her different eye colors. Oh, and there's her little eyelids. It's the little lamb that it, on this doll is kind of the signature uh, for the artist. And oh, hi, Nora. Actually, that works out well because these next eyes are kind of like a brown tabby. Um, actually, Nora's been naughty with these dolls. She, little stinker, has been trying to eat their hair, both of them. And they're from two different sellers. <laughs> okay, I've taken care of Nora, little stinker. She was trying to go for my Ellen one's hair again. Okay, so we have brown eyes looking up and her eyes are looking up more than a standard Blythe. So that tells me that the customizer did adjust the gaze, I guess is what that's called. And then we have looking forward, kind of this, I don't know, it's like a greenish, brownish, different design. It's really, really pretty. And then my favorite, one of all is this really beautiful glittery pinkish it's like a pink purple but it changes colors based on how the light is so i really really love it it's super fun and of course she came in this outfit the one thing about these eyes really quick is this particular eye chips make it really hard to change the eye so i'm thinking they're probably just a little too big so this is her outfit she came in um, she has these little kitty shoes, which is really fun because I have some midi blides I recently got that have the same shoe, only smaller. And then these are little like high thigh high socks with matching underwears. Look at that with a little crocheted flower. So cute. And then she has this pinafore type thing over this dress here that is so cute. Look at that, just the cutest. I just love it, so much detail. Little crocheted flowers all around. And of course, the teddy bear ears, just really, I couldn't resist the little teddy bear ears. And the, the little details, I don't know, this, when I looked up the doll on the original seller's Instagram account, this was not the outfit she was wearing in the photos. So I don't know if these were like aftermarket purchases. I'm not, I just don't know anything about that, but there's some other really cute clothes the seller just threw in for me. Anyway, here are the beads that she put on there. And I love that there's this little thing that says handmade and the beads complement one another, but they're kind of like opposites. So we have the green and orange and the pink and green. Anyway, just really fun. And it's it's not overkill. I, I like that there's not like this huge bunch of beads that just kind of weigh her down. Um, and her hair, of course, is this sandy color, short. I mean, it's had a hat on for ages, but, um, and it's nice hair. So that tells me <laughs> she's not an original Blythe. Cause we all know original Blythe's hair is not gonna be this nice and silky and, and soft and easy to stroke so and i'll show you again the back of her head it's like a a rainbow unicorn 
and that's cow 2018 so all right so i put everything she got in this little suitcase here because i just needed a place to put it and i have some of these lying around so the seller was just amazing and she gave me little shoes a little pair of converse and these little tiny boots i don't even know it's just so cute and then these really cute boots two different colors but they're the same style so we have like a beige with brown socks and then a black with gray socks and little bows so i got these two pairs and then to go with her color scheme there's this other out first of all there were these really cute striped socks and the tag with this says, so cute, mammy. Okay, so the other outfit that went with those little socks are, it's really cute, this skirt with like little chicks on it. And then this adorable little sweatshirt or sweater with the little chick on it and like a reverse. And then coordinating little underwears. And then if I wanted to go with a solid, I have like a thigh high sock. So my guess is it's from the same seller as the, the outfit she's wearing now. But I just love that the purple color scheme is just kind of carried out for all of her, all of her clothes. Now this outfit, the seller just tossed, <gasps> Nora. All right, so she just threw this outfit in. I wasn't even, I didn't even ask. She just was so eager for her doll to go to a good home and she could tell I loved her. So this really cute little pink and blue kind of overall dress and then some really cute pink and polka dot thigh highs. They look kind of reddish, but they're pink, kind of like a, a hot pink. And then the last thing she got, which I'm super excited about, all right, she got this super cute, like mushroom cloak type thing. So it has mushrooms and little ears to like teddy bear ears and a little scarf with beads. I don't even know who made it. And it's, it looks like, I mean, I don't think this is cat hair. There's, I don't know what kind of yarn this is that was used, but it's really nice and really nice detail. And I don't know, it's a crocheted or knit. You guys out there who do it, I'm gonna guess crocheted, but I've been wrong before. It could be knit. So anyway, I have this really cute mushroom hat that she's gonna be wearing in the fall and I'm super excited. So yep, that is all that I got. Finishing up all of this good, cute stuff from my doll luncheon. I'm really excited that I got to go. And there is another luncheon coming up. Here we go, honey in june that i went ahead and i'm gonna go to that i do you do have to buy like a ticket to go um because you are eating so i mean you pay for the food and uh you get a favor they give you a party favor anyway in the one in june i'm taking emma with me her birthday's in june and she really wants to go so that's gonna be fun a little mother daughter dolly time and i'm hoping i might find maybe some elo and clothes maybe some Blythe clothes, who knows? I'm excited to just go and hang out with Dolly fans and meet people who like dolls, learn more about dolls. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your favorite of what I got at the luncheon. Um, if you've been to a doll luncheon, I'd love to hear how it went for you. Again, if you wanna be in a doll club, uh, at least in the United States, go check out the UFDC website. And as far as I can tell, they don't have like a list of doll clubs in each region, but you can look up the region and contact the person in charge of that region to get a list for the different clubs. Cause I've had a blast so far and I'm really excited. And I just want everyone else to feel as excited as I am and enjoy meeting dolly people on a regular basis. So. That's all for me. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.